What's up, everybody? This is John Odermatt, the host of Felony Friday. And before we get rolling into today's show, I want to take a quick moment to talk about coffee. That's right, coffee. The Lions of Liberty, we have partnered up with Anarcho Coffee, and we are selling our very own coffee. It's called the Morning Roar. It is a medium dark roast that has cupping notes of lemon lime, caramel, black pepper, and brown sugar. It is delicious. You can pick up some of this coffee by going to lionsofliberty.com slash coffee. We have a way there on your first purchase. You can get 10% off, but if you join the Pride for $10 and up, you can actually get more than that. You can get 15% off every single order. Buy some coffee support the Lions of Liberty, support another great libertarian company as well. Everybody wins. Lionsofliberty.com slash coffee. Welcome to Felony Friday, a presentation of the Lions of Liberty podcast. Here is your host, John Odermatt. Felons, friends, and freedom lovers, welcome back to another edition of Felony Friday, a weekly show right here on the Lions of Liberty podcast. And oh man, <laughs> oh, we got a show for you today, guys. Um, let me tell you, you know, this show, I normally go into my rant and I talk about this being the only show where we talk about injustice in the uh, broken criminal justice system and the different segments we have, you know, from time to time, I'll interview some people who've been through the system, who've suffered through prison. Maybe they've suffered a terrible injustice, maybe uh, jailed up, uh, sent into prison for a nonviolent crime. This show is not one of those shows. And I want to make one thing clear, because on Felony Friday, often it's not this type of show. But this is a freewheeling show. This show was recorded at Porkfest. If you're not familiar with Porkfest, it is the Porcupine Festival in New Hampshire. It's where libertarians go to gather uh, towards the end of June. It is the Lions of Liberty's second trip to Porkfest. And this uh, was recorded just sitting around a picnic table. Just a couple microphones sitting around a picnic table. We had a couple people from the Lions of Liberty sitting around. We had people from the the crowd, from other podcasts that uh, that chimed in. And just to prepare you, we do talk about serious topics. We may uh, talk about them in a very uh, very cavalier way. You might think we don't take them seriously, but keep in mind this is day number two of Pork Fest to set the scene. Uh, I guess Mark and Howie and those guys arrived on Thursday night. I came in with uh, Brian and Rico and JB and Jason Stapleton. We drove up on Friday morning, and this is recorded on Saturday after a very, very long night on Friday night. This is Saturday afternoon. We're sitting in a field at Pork Fest, and we actually had to end the podcast at the end. I'll put a conclusion on the end of this, but because they started doing announcements to get people to gather for the official pork fest picture. So we, we had to stop at that time. Otherwise we might still be going. God only knows, but it was, it's a fun show. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't try another one of our shows, because this is uh, this is definitely a little bit different. Actually, this show is a little bit, it's almost like a preview of bonus content at lions of Liberty. Uh, this type of content, these uh, really casual conversations, this type of engagement, this, this is the type of stuff that you really get uh, behind the paywall. And you can join the Lions of Liberty Pride, become a patron by going to patreon.com slash Lions of Liberty. Let's let the insanity begin. All right, here we are live at Pork Fest for Felony Friday. Live, streaming live, except it's not streaming or live. Pre-taped at Pork Fest. Who's that? This Mark is me. Claire? I'm Mark Claire. What's up? How are things, John? Fantastic. You hungover? I'm very hungover. It's Pork Fest Day 2. My, mind, day my mind is working at about 25% right yeah, now. Yeah, we're all about there. It was a long night last night. A lot times. of broken brains. Man. And there's Howie. I was just going to wait for him to come in. I knew he didn't need to be introduced. Howie, Howie is Snowden. here to uh, announce his new podcast. Yes, this is the first episode of the Howie Snowden Foreign Policy Podcast. I don't think we're going to be talking about foreign policy today, though. But it's, maybe. it's all a crime. We right? might talk about foreign policy. We though. might. We might. We never know. Apparently, it's all I can talk about. So. 
And we have Dan Smots. I'm here. He's here? I'm here. I'm debating on whether or not I regret it, this choice, but I'm here. He's here. Get used to it. What's he from? <laughs> Who cares? System's down or something. We're not even promoing anymore. That's System of a down. Anymore. I'm tired. System. He's from the band. System of the down. <laughs> System is down podcast. And that laugh you heard was JB Lubin. Welcome to the Only Friday. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The former Barry at Tubman. He sounds like himself today. I'm very impressed. I, yeah, we got a, a crowd I prefer when he's got here. the deep voice. Can you do it for us or no? Everyone prefers J- JB's deep voice. Save it for later. Can you change when your voice? When we're not expecting it. Do we have a topic here, or do we have a topic? Why do we have to have a topic? I don't I'm know. The host of this I, show. I'm just asking. I don't know. I have something very important to say, but I'm going to hold it onto it. Okay. Sure you so, do. in case you're just listening, Let's make that a teaser. Don't for later. don't stop the podcast. Howie's going to say something really important in about ten minutes, maybe. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Masa Manos. Stay tuned, and then it won't stop for the next hour. So let's talk about. Uh, let's play some. Is it a crime? Bum, bum, bum. Is it a crime? Should they do time? I'm going to sneak a promo no, no. in for my forthcoming <laughs> show. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> so should happens. children be able to kill themselves? <laughs> All right. We're just going to get straight to the meat here, I guess. Huh? No, this the really important topics. I think there's a story here. This I comes like from a uh, story that I don't have in front of me, so I'm just going off the top of my head. Lead researcher <laughs> John Odermatt. It's here. a... Uh, there's a case in the Wi Fi one, one of those Scandinavian Sweden? countries. What was it? Sweden, I think. I want to say Norway. Maybe Sweden. Maybe. Denmark. Whatever. They're all the same. Netherlands. Well, it's, it's, it's all of them. Uh, Germany. Put them together. And it was like a, a 12 year old kid um, wanted to be euthanized. And uh, it happened. And I think. I thought it didn't actually happen, as the article it, it was probably fake news. It probably didn't happen. Maybe but it didn't happen. It's still worth talking about. <laughs> Let's pretend it happened so and then talk kid, about it. It really doesn't matter if it happened or not. Was this kid unable to kill themselves on their own? Like, did they need the assistance? That's a good question. Like, were they paralyzed and like, please smother me? Or what? Let's assume that they were unable to kill themselves. So killing yourself is illegal. What, what's the penalty? What happens? <laughs> the what death. happens if you, like... Uh, ironically, it's a death penalty, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think I might support that law. So, let, let's start, like... giving them what they want. Let's start, like, at a, a broad, high-level thing here. Suicide. Does everyone agree that you should be allowed to kill yourself? I, I encouraged. I don't I know how you cannot be allowed to because right. I think it's not a bad thing to maybe if you think your friend is going to kill himself and you see the knife to is it a violation of the NAP to if I grab the knife and stop mm. them you could say it is because they are not consenting to that action. It's all yes and no. It's your life. You should be able to end it. But most people that want to kill themselves have serious mental issues going on where like with a little bit of help they realize things aren't as bad as they thought and it's. I, 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 I don't want to just l- let them do it. I, I hate to be like a, the status in the show. But. I fully endorse suicide. It's almost over 80%. Dan is pro suicide. But you know what I mean? There's some shit going on where if we could just talk. Like over 80% of the people it. who attempt suicide and fail don't ever do it again. They're like, really? Yeah, they're like, that sucked. That's a fact. I, that's a fact. It's, it's mostly. That was a bad idea. Rico, is that, is that researched? Can you chime in? It's somewhere around there. I don't know the exact number because I don't have my computer. It's around 80% don't a- reattempt. If the Wi-Fi was better, we'd have much better research. If it doesn't work, do you um, like do you consider yourself a failure for the rest of your life because you weren't able to even kill yourself? You should, I think. No. I couldn't even do you this should. one simple thing and end my own life. Some of the best success stories start with failure. So, you know, Some of the best suicide stories men, start with failure. Men are better at suicide than women. This is a much too whimsical look at suicide uh, on Felony Friday. Men have a much higher success rate at suicide than women do. That's because of method. Well, I think we all... That's preferred method that drives that. You guys were better at everything. Is that what you were going to say? Noted suicide researcher JB uh, has chimed yes, in with... Men the, tend to shoot themselves, which is far more uh, effective and less likely to fail. Women tend to like to do pills and things of that Poison, nature. Yeah. 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 And and better better everything. Wealth of knowledge. Right. So remember, I used to work at that hotline. Biology. We had one thing we had to do. We had to. Go, so yeah, we had to know what like the lethal dose of everything was. So when people call and they're like, "Oh, I took this much as this," like we know how serious it is. Cube Valium, you could take like six hundred before it kills you. So he's red. Quaaludes, four. <laughs> please, <laughs> please don't try, try that at home. Now he, he went to he took five ninety nine and was like. I think I'm good. No, but I ended up I ended up stopping Kids working value, working for fine. them because I actually told a guy he should kill himself, and I had to like. Well, resign. you shouldn't probably not do that on the suicide prevention That's hotline. Uh, pretty shitty. Alan. He was I can a, understand your. He was an asshole though. Line, he was like, him. I wish they would do 9/11 again and fuck you and all these people and. 
I'm like, you know what, pal? You should kill yourself. <laughs> and I wrote my letter of resignation, as I should, and I'm... <laughs> you're like Jon Snow. He was, he was writing have, it down. You honor. You're like Jon Snow. You turn yourself in. You're just like, I did it. <laughs> Send me to the wall. Send me out of here. I was like, listen... I told this guy should kill himself, but he really probably should. Is, is that a violation of the NAP if someone calls a suicide hotline looking for help and the hotline <laughs> Did I violate them it? to kill them? You <laughs> might have. Am I in like libertarian oh, yeah. court now? That's a, Did that's I violate the NAP? Area. Welcome to <laughs> Liberty Court. That was a, a three knock salute. He brought it up. Fast forward to like five years from now, and this guy tracks down how he kills him. See, oh, did you think that's like a possibility? Absolutely. Well, there was that case where the. the Fuck. Chick had told her boyfriend to like kill himself and got charged. Oh yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. yeah. That was fucked up. That was a crazy. That one. chick is crazy. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the dude is crazy himself, right? Like maybe he was just depressed. I don't whatever. Know. He really so should showed that be a her crime? though, right? JB, what do you think? Should that be a crime? Telling someone to kill themselves and then they, knowing that they will possibly likely actually do it. Keep in mind, this is ramifications of my case. Probably not. No, I don't think so. Well, it depends. Like depends again, it's situation. kind of gray. Yeah. Like, yeah, because like that chick. Was yeah, it depends slashed. on the situation. I would call that a crime because she was like constantly talking him into it. Yeah, if you're uh, like, so is it just like, the amount that it's like matters? Repeated, yeah. So what about me? Though? It's like coercion at this Kill point. Yourself. You're coercing someone into killing. Them. All right, so let's go back to the case of Harry Snowden. Uh, be, be, <laughs> so this guy... You have representation today, sir. Rico, where's my lawyer? Rico. When I worked at the, the like, help hotline, I told this guy he should kill himself. Was that... <laughs> do you want to take this case as his lawyer? Can, 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 can you do my defense? I resigned right after. All right, he's unable to acquire legal representation. Um, you're going to have to defend yourself, sir. He was sir. an asshole, man. <laughs> and you, he yeah, should, you were he spotless. Yeah, yeah. Let's get That's opinions kind of Let's get here. opinions from the crowd. Anyone anyway, should should Howie go to prison? Yes. For many reasons. Can you please label the show a whimsical yes. look at suicide? Yes. Please uh Howie please say your name and why Howie should go to prison. Howie who? Tori Wachtel, Howie should go to prison <laughs> because he's Howie. Fair. Preach. I think he deserves the experience. And who are you, sir? Do you have Nick. a podcast you want to plug while you're, while you're holding a microphone? I have to? No, it's yours. I thought I've you already been to prison in a cheerleading uniform. It was plug awful. all four. Wait, I, I thought you said you went to jail, not prison. <laughs> all right, so um, anyone else want to chime in? Should Howie go to prison? Tyler will not comment on this case. I thought somebody would stick up for me. I don't think you should go to jail, Howie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be your defense here. I think you should just be allowed to be looked down upon. For he it. said he wanted another 9/11, and the maybe Whatever. you prevented it by <laughs> hey, encouraging to. No. Could we get uh, Nick Sarok over here to weigh in on whether or not how he should be? In jail? I think that's not a good idea. I think oh. if he's your prosecutor, you're this is not a jury of my peers. peers. <laughs> Who is a peer of Howie? <laughs> Who are your peers? Howie has no peers. <laughs> Mark, Me? Rico, <laughs> JB. How are insulted? I don't know. All right. So, all right. So, suicide to come down a level. Is there an age where you should not be allowed to? Well, if a two-year-old says I want to kill myself, and mommy says, "Okay, go do it," I would say that's a crime on mommy. I would agree. What about like five-year-olds? She does. Right. Does age really matter? I think it's kind of if someone has like a psychological issue, maybe get them help and not let them kill themselves. Well, to me, it's, it's just like consent. There's no magical age where you can say know. someone has the ability to decide things, but there's a continuum, and we all agree two is weird, and we all agree 25 is you can decide. But if we do the reasonable crime. person court, if they actually have like a disease that's going to kill them and it's horrible, yeah, maybe that's a good option then. But if it's just like, oh, I'm sad, I want to kill myself. You should probably just try to help. I mean, you could have a two-year-old child with an uncurable disease who's just in pain, and maybe well, yeah, maybe you then put dogs down. I maybe mean, then, yeah, let's do it. Stop comparing dogs to humans. Come yeah, on, it's yeah, we all know dogs are superior. Example. Well, do it, I have to it, answer that? It's weird. Yes. Dogs are actually better than humans. dogs get away with rape. That's why. <laughs> that's that's actually true. That's literally how dogs reek. <laughs> it's never consensual. Is it a crime? Should I think do doing time. that little tail wag thing is kind of consent, though. Don't you know, when they do the little like shimmy, yeah, I, I feel. Are, like, you I had, are you saying she? Are you saying she asked for it? Are you saying she had it coming? And they get when a, like that. And then they're like, when no, a like, dog rapes like someone, they like should it. they do crime or should they do time? Oh, is it a crime? I don't know. I mean, they they don't have barbed penises at least. We're getting some info, input from the crowd, but you probably can't hear that. 
Come on, crowd, grab Dogs a mic. Dogs don't have barbed penises, what, so it's not rape. What animal does, though? It's only rape if you're... Is oh, my cats? God. I can't even repeat cats. this. <laughs> I do have a career to think about at some point. <laughs> That's why I don't like cats. Really? The barbed really? penis, like, turns me off. Hold on a second. Cats have barbed penises? Don't like it, yeah. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Is this a real thing? Yeah. No. I, oh, yeah. Why? Why? Why would they Wait, have barbed turtles penises? Are, turtles are pretty much always raped, too. Do all animals rape? Is there any consent in animal sex? No, no. no. Ducks have a corkscrew penis and they like Except for out, humans. They Except for when we do. Yeah. This conversation went from suicide to animal, rape. animal penises All too really comfortably. Fast. <laughs> I, I blame dogs for that. Did you, know have this so so of Did you use not to blame? Laura Brannigan. Nope, but I think we needed our next Lions of Liberty field trip to be there. Iceland? The Museum of Penises? Oh, yeah. museum. Is there one? In Iceland, yeah. Uh, I've got, I would go natural penises. Yeah. Weren't they building like a temple to Thor there too? That'd be. I would go to that as well. Probably, if there's gonna be one. Yeah. I'm They're bringing it back. Is that to capitalize on the success of Thor Ragnarok? <laughs> <laughs> now, we'll, fine, we'll build this temple now. Now that everyone likes Thor. Who does? I don't remember. So shifting gears. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want to shift gears? I feel like we're in a pretty comfortable place here. Um, is it a crime? I think someone brought this up in the forum. Do we ever settle the issue of the child, or we're we just gonna? Do we settle issues? Am I going to jail? No, we never settle <laughs> issues. Here. Hopefully. I think uh, the only thing we know is that Howie belongs in prison. That's all we realize. For something. Yo. For preventing the second 9/11. You won't get me there. No. So whatever. All right. Well. Um, Liberty Jail is not that bad. We're. This is it, actually. Pretty much. <laughs> this is Liberty Jail. Oh, really? This is it. Liberty Borg Purgatory. Actually, <laughs> been sentenced to three days at Porkfest, aka Liberty Jail. So there was some story in the forum a couple weeks ago of a uh, a bicyclist that was hit and killed, and the driver was being prosecuted, but the circumstances of the accident looked like it was the bicyclist bicyclist's fault. So if you know, say you're driving down this little two lane road we have out here, and there's a fucking bicycle right with the largest sh road shoulder that I've ever seen in my life. It's basically uh -huh. a four lane highway. But Dan, Dan Smots likes to, to walk I right like to on the white line. It was not. When it's I only touched the white line when Brian was yelling like an old grandpa. So is, is it a crime if, if somebody <laughs> kills? The road. If somebody strikes Dan Smots walking on the white line, is it a crime? Tell him, no. Just tell him I consented. You heard it here. I don't think so. He took the risk. So same thing with bicycles. If, if someone's riding a bicycle and they're in the road, is the crime to run them over? Well, is there a place for them to ride elsewhere? Is Say there, there is. Is there a crime to purposely run them over? How do you define purposely? How would you prove that? How would you know? I don't know how you would prove it, but... Dan should have been walking on the white line. Okay, Calm down, Dad. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's only a crime if it's premeditated however however hitting somebody you're obviously liable for someone's life if you damage it even if it's not meant to be on purpose even if they're walking the middle of the road on the fucking white line is who's on the white line me it, and how about this it, 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 is he over I, it or I just can't on believe it? how much is, i'm is, getting is, bitched is at is at a libertarian no, no, festival for touching a, a white line on the road on the with line. my foot no 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 that's what i'm saying Honestly, if they don't have a separate lane for bikes, I could give a fuck what you're driving if you're on the lane. You have to respect the traffic that's there. If there's a bike going 20 miles per hour in front of you, tough tits. You guys should have thought of a bike lane. Can Not everyone please just stop riding bikes? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> all you people who hate We're bike riders, go and fuck stop off. Stop riding bikes. Like, when I'm behind you in a car, am I supposed to pretend like you're a car and just go slow for miles? Yes. That's, <laughs> absolutely. That's bullshit. What's the other that option? I don't like... Then make a fucking bike lane. I don't like any part of this. Then get your bike out of here. I pay taxes, you <laughs> asshole. Is riding a bike a crime, Howie? You should yes be skating. No. You Howie, look better. answer the question. Is, is riding a bike a crime? I use the same lane. Ride a skateboard. You'll look better, at least. So your your <laughs> point is to hit people in skateboards walking, too. Why, no. Not, you don't hit the skaters. Come on, man. If a guy was, sk if a guy was skateboarding, down the road and you were behind him would you hit him or would that be a crime or i would not i'd probably say hey that dude's a cool skater and so you just stay there going five miles an hour yeah i'd go around so him. you're gonna let a oh, okay. guy going five miles an hour as opposed to 20 miles an hour in the same lane as you. oh yeah the guy in the bike i'll hit but not the guy on the skateboard I about it. Like, do, I, do i go to jail again let it be known <laughs> how he is going to hit me on a bike someday Spork fest next year too I'm gonna bring a bike next year just so he can try and hit me. Chase the bad idea. 
If your bike has pegs, it'd be cool. Nick. But if it doesn't, I will run you over. Nick, do you at least follow traffic laws when you're riding your bicycle on the road? Sometimes. Yeah. Stay, stay and that's this. my problem stay with bike this. riders right there. Traffic laws is abroad. In Philadelphia, I've almost killed bicyclists because they just blow straight through stop signs while I'm driving. And I'm like, what the fuck? If you're on the yeah, road, that's their follow fu- the that's fucking their rules fault. of the road. Yeah. None of them follow the fucking rules. Let's stop blowing I everything. I two people because they're on. I, I know you're, you're in the right. And basically, if that happens, you're in the right on it. Joke. I will blow stop signs if I, like, if there's not a place where I know there's no. Tra- if there's no traffic, I'll blow stop signs. That's it. It's like, I come from rural areas. I'm not in the middle of roads. a city. Yeah, what, I'm what, in the middle of a city. Blow? Yeah, there's a difference. In a city, I don't want to get hit. I'll follow the goddamn signs. Are you a road bike guy or a mountain bike guy? Road bike. Do you wear a helmet? Cause, Cause it's weird to me. I it's, bought a bike. Our road bike's a crime. I bought a bike yes. in the army. The first time I ever wore a helmet in my life, I was like about. 26. I'm like, I never wore one as a kid. Now I have to. It Are you is just. Me? It's stupid not to wear a helmet. I don't think you should have to wear a helmet, but I mean, I think it's pretty dumb to not wear. The a only, helmet. the worst thing that ever happened to me on a bike was, my, I, I, I was swimming, so I had a towel around my neck. I got caught in the wheels. I flipped over onto the road. My Bill and Ted's Book's Journey cassette tape in my pocket got smashed. <laughs> that's a crime. That's, that that's was, the saddest that was part the of the story. Was the my track? head was fine. <laughs> my head was fine. You're alive. The cassette's gone. That's I didn't need a helmet, but that poor cassette tape. Shit. <laughs> that's a good. It's a good soundtrack. It's got like Rocky, Rocky, Faith and War, Megadeth, fun. everybody. Yeah. Saw it. All right, Howie, uh, how do you feel about the fact that you're a very anti-bike riding, but Ron Paul is an avid bike rider, and he rides his bike every morning for at least three miles, I believe. Mark, Ron Paul is not a god. He might be, like, a demigod, but... <laughs> so you, would you would you or would you not no, run over nobody's Ron perfect. Paul on the road? Yeah, yeah, who says nobody's perfect? No, I would not run him over, but... Yeah, Only because of Ron Paul. I would be like, oh, I wish he wasn't doing that. <laughs> you're a big talker. <laughs> to want him to like associate us with bike riders but whatever <laughs> he can do his thing I'll do my thing alright so let's talk some foreign policy would Ron Paul not be cooler if he was skateboarding instead <laughs> can you picture Ron Paul skateboarding would it not be cooler yes. it would be Actually, I can't, I can't. Picture it right now. it's awesome <laughs> objectively much better there's definitely a meme out there of Ron Paul skateboarding I'm pretty sure I've seen it yeah I've seen it <laughs> <laughs> so next, what else are we talking about? I'm out of ideas. I had two ideas, and I put them all out there. I say we just send it to Howie. I guess the last thing we should say is probably like not go to war with Iran. That would be right. <laughs> no, I disagree. All right, Nick Sarwak. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, the one important thing I want to say to everybody is like this whole liberty fight. This is a long fucking slog. The only way we can do it is if we have fun. Having fun is the most important part of this whole thing. If we don't have fun, we're not. We're gonna lose. So not having fun. Have fun. What are some ways that Howie has fun? <laughs> well, that's for like the hundred dollar and up listeners. Uh, Howie gets up at eight thirty in the morning and showers. Don't tell anyone. He doesn't really like. Howie actually people usually gets his. up at five, and he left his phone in Mark's room, so the alarm went off at five and five thirty. <laughs> I, th- I think we went to sleep last night about 4.30, so yeah. that sucks. If it went off at 5 or 5.30, there's no way I woke up, so. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Someone turned it off. I might have. I do remember touching a phone this morning when it was making a noise, so maybe that was yours. You I'm just glad I found my shoes. Now I have two shoes, and I'm in New Hampshire, and I'm happy as can be, so here we are. <laughs> Howie also slept in the same bed as Rigo, but thought it was JB the entire time. Is that a crime? <laughs> no. It was well, consensual Right, or am I going to electric chair? Well, Howie, do you think it was a crime? Because you were tricked into thinking that uh, that white guy was that black guy. And, uh, you know. No, no, it was my honest mistake. So you, you know. I need some context here, gentlemen. Uh, sim- similar people. Is it a crime if you wake up in bed with somebody other than who you thought you were going to bed with? It's, it's on me. <laughs> it, dep- it depends on what happens. It's certainly not on me. It depends what went on. Yeah, it was. Like if, it, yeah. if you just lay in the bed and you don't know, assault the other person. Then That's what happened. What if they get up at 8.30 in the morning and turn on Roseanne? <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest episode of Roseanne I've ever seen. Are you serious? That happened? Yes. Yes. Today? Why? I don't yeah. know. This is, a, this is episode of Roseanne. She was like in some dream world where she killed her kids and her husband. And Are like, you sure? 
Or is that just what you thought was happening? Brian would vouch for me if you were here. <laughs> it was on. Was that not what happened? It I'm like, it was like a flip I'm like, was this show really like this? This is crazy. She just murdered her kids and her husband. <laughs> but. Oh, God. What is a, happening? That's it's a, a crime. Format, that's a, Yeah, everybody yeah, laughs. It's fun. Right, so murdering your entire family is a crime, but it might be funny depending on the context. Yeah, are we all on board with that? You kill your kids and your husband, it's a crime. I think we probably agree on that. I disagree. What if they deserved it, though? <laughs> what if the kids and husband were plotting the murder of the wife? Well, she she wanted like ten know. minutes alone in her like bathtub, and they wouldn't give it to her. So uh, maybe, it's justified. <laughs> maybe it's justified. Maybe it's justified. If that is enough for you to snap, there was definitely the some stuff leading up to that. Test. Apply the reasonable man test. <laughs> she might have taken some Ambien before. <laughs> <laughs> Even back then in the nineties. Yeah, it happens. The best of us. Whatever. <laughs> Let's talk about vaccines. Oh man. <laughs> all right, all right. That should be. Let's talk about it. Talking about vaccines should be a crime. So Dan, what do you think about vaccines? Love them. They're great. Everybody not should the be man. man I don't take it myself, but I'm not going to stop anyone else from doing it. Not Everybody the should be forced. One. No, I I think. Uh, I say this that because the point, it's like you shouldn't podcast. be pro well, or be. against vaccines. We can tease, tease specific that ones have specific problems or good things. What are you things. pointing at? The army made me take this anthrax vaccine that was not safe at all. Oh, is that they, what happened to you? <laughs> they you were like, it? everyone has to get it. And then they're like, oh, no, 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 no one can get it. They're <laughs> like, all right. Here's well, the last in line. Then they're, they're like, well, you no. could get it, but we have to ask you three times if you're sure. And I was like, this is seriously how this is went it, down. Is it the Beetlejuice vaccine? Like the army. At least my perception of it. And I, and I am the guy at the end. I'm like, well, I already got the first couple. So, yes, I'm sure. Three times. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Just it's give like, me the last like in the series. But no, some times. vaccines aren't safe. Some are. Whatever. We, it's not vaccines are good or bad. It's Let's talk about the specific one we're, like, fucking talking about. Some of them aren't. Gardasil good. for males. Yeah. Oh, I want that one. Actually. You want that one? Isn't that the one that a lot of people have died from? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Would you rather die or have HPV? Have that HPV? Is. Easy. It's not even like a well, close. close. That's, a, that's a good point. Just give me no time to think about it. Would you rather die or have a thing that might kill you? HPV like doesn't even affect me. I never thought of it like that before. Mm. Yeah. Well, any more crimes to talk about? I don't know. I'm about to have to. I don't know. Questions from the crowd. <laughs> Two booze or vaccines? All right. That wasn't I don't so understand much what that means. Two booze for forced vaccines. You know, measles is actually good for your heart. <laughs> Everybody should take measles. If you actually get yeah, them, the medical research on this show them, is really blowing me away. You can never get it again. <laughs> you can never get it again, and it improves your heart health. But if you get the vaccine, you know, it's only good for like 10, 15 years. And so we pretend we have this herd immunity thing. It's like, no, we're all out of date on it. There is no herd immunity. And the whole thing, people are getting it now because, uh, I guess, Mexicans. What? That's a concern. <laughs> what did you say? Why we're building the world? What did you say? To the mic, I, I tried How to think dare of a, you? I tried to think of a better way to say that, but... People coming from third world countries are bringing the disease here. Where That's true. I mean, we can say that. That's how he's built the walls. That's speech. okay to say, right? It's, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Sure, right? it's totally yeah. Nice. Well, the reason they have all those measles is because no one ever took the vaccines. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah I, I don't, dis no, I don't disagree. Measles, the reason they have the measles yeah. is because <laughs> they don't have enough freedom. What, what if they're coming here to get the vaccine? JB Probably if we the bomb them, they will have enough freedom to not Probably, have measles. Probably, yeah. JB is the, uh, the head of the, the measles, measles, the measles Institute. <laughs> measles. Measles isn't bad. Come on, guys. The Pro Measles Podcast. Measles for everyone. This podcast is sponsored by measles. I hope I'd never get shingles, though. That's what I don't want. Shingles. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so we have it right now, then. Yep. Why, measles? Someone here has pork. Someone here, has Someone here definitely has measles. <laughs> I mean, there's Who no doubt. Someone here has got measles. It's, oh, yo, yeah, here? Have measles. Pork fest. There's definitely Especially. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Does whiskey uh, kill measles? Whatever. It'd be good for my heart. Because <laughs> I'm prone to having, like, my heart explodes. He likes to look on the bright side of things. You know, just give me the drugs. Just not drugs. Give me the measles. <laughs> give me the measles. <laughs> when you do too much cocaine, just get an injection. That's not good for the heart either, but yeah, you got to... 
You win some, you lose some. I don't know. <laughs> Anything else? Anybody got any other topics? Complaints? I mean, I have plenty of complaints. Yeah. Oh, really? Complaints? But you want to get up on the rant stage last night and share them. <laughs> we we can. <laughs> All right, where, what's that secret thing you were going to tell everybody later, I'm, Howie? Remember that? Was already, that the measles thing? That. That, was was the about, that was how we should all have fun. Oh, I didn't know that was really a secret. Uh, yeah. that's, you kind of say that all the time. It's really important, though. we got a secret, you guys. Have fun. I think it's a good picture now. So that's yeah. a good time to wrap. All right, we're going to have to wrap up this podcast. Uh, happening, folks. Bye. Did we keep anyone's interest through that? Was that, was that something you guys enjoyed? If you did... Uh, and you want more episodes like that, well, you're not going to get them on this feed, I'm sorry, because that is a a one-time thing. Uh, To hear more of these type shows, we do this type of stuff all the time uh, behind our paywall and our Alliance of Liberty Pride. We have a couple shows, Conspiracy Corner, Degenerate Gamblers, uh, bonus content with guests, where we get much more relaxed like this, and you hear some weird crap that we say. So if you're interested in that, Check out the Lions of, Lions of Liberty Pride. Go to patreon.com slash Lions of Liberty and join at, for $5 and up, you can get access to all that bonus content. So check that out. And just one quick note before I let you go, the Democrat debate was, of course, this past Thursday night. We did a live reaction show with myself, Trisha Stewart from Gingerarchy, Remzo Martinez from Remzo Martinez. <laughs> he, I don't know. He writes books and has, has podcasts, and I, I think they're all have his name in them. So, and Rico, the elusive Rico, was on the show. Our chief legal counsel here at Lions of Liberty. Reaction show to that debate that was streamed live to our Lions of Pride members, and it's going to be available tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll see when I release it, but it'll drop into the feed, the main feed, very soon. And we're also going to make the video available on our main uh, Facebook page. So be looking for that if you want to see that stuff. Because if you didn't watch the debate, good for you. That was a smart thing to do. Brilliant. You are a very smart person if you didn't watch that debate. But if you want to hear us make fun of the people who debated, then you want to listen to the podcast. Because that is what makes debating fun. So check that out. And... That's all I got. I got a bunch of shit to do. I don't have time to talk more. So this is John Odermatt signing off. Always remember to keep your head up and the fire is a liberty burning.